guys, today I'm doing a review of Polyp Amelia. She is a very exciting release for a few reasons. Um, number one, she is the very first Polyp style exclusive doll. Uh, she was limited to, I believe, 500 pieces, so I was happy to scoop her up. Um, she's also a collaboration doll with uh, Ichigo Klein. You might know her from pullupsandjunk.com. It's sort of a the reference guide for all things pull-up, uh, and Requimart, who is an artist. So it really feels special that this doll is kind of, it's for the doll collector, but it's also created by doll collectors. So uh, again, happy to get her. Uh, she just came in the mail from Pulp Style, and I thought I would cover her stock as usual, and then I'll talk about this lovely doll. So as you can see, Amelia is a bunny. She's also an aviator, and she's a fashionista. She's got a lot going on. She is a very unique, fun doll, and I'm gonna start by talking about her headgear here. So let me take off her hoodie, which is a very interesting hoodie. This is her, her bunny hoodie. Take this off for a second. What's fun about this hoodie, it's lined, has these plushy little ears, and this kind of faux leather material, is the little ears actually come off. They are, just little barrettes. And I think that's fun because you can put her in the hoodie without the ears, or you can actually put the ears right on her head if you just wanted to go pure bunny. You know, no aviator. Um, speaking of aviator, these are her fun goggles. I think whenever you think of Amelia, I, anyway, I associate it with Amelia Earhart, and I just think if she's wanting to fly her plane or Go to Burning Man and hang out with Cara Delevingne. She's ready. These are fun. Um, she's also got a little capelet, and I took it off of her outfit because it was kind of hard to get on and off, but again, she's got this kind of faux leathery material. It is just a soft material. And then she's got her little trademark colors of the turquoise and the pink. Kind of a fun palette, I think. And fashionista that she is, she has a little handbag, little plushy, looks like a little cactus handbag, and it actually is, there's a little opening, so put something in there. All right, so let's talk about her outfit here. So there are pros and cons for me. This is all personal preference, of course, but she has this wonderfully um, styled pink blouse. I love the style of this blouse. I love the way it's made. I'm not that crazy about the fabric. It's kind of, it feels a little raincoat material to me, but the style is fantastic. She has this little choker with the cameo and the turquoise. And then she's got, take this off. I think it's attached to her pants, but she's got this little corset. I love the little details here. And it is attached to her pants. I'll keep them, keep them attached here. I love her little bloomers. Uh, they're kind of a army green color. They've got these, the trim is kind of fun. It matches that faux leather um, material of her hoodie. I just think they're super cute. And then she's got these brown knee-high socks with the turquoise. And then for some inexplicable reason, she has cowboy boots. Little unusual. I would tell you that if there's something, I, if I could change anything about this doll, it would be the boots. but. I did consider that um, this doll was priced uh, well below the other, all of the other releases this year, and I think that means some of the stock might not be, you know, quite up to par as some of the other releases. But overall, adorable doll, just love her. Before I do her wig and her face, though, I have to read you her card um, because it's so much fun. So I don't usually have the collector's card out. And you can see there's a ton of text on it. It's a great picture of her, by the way. But let me just read this to you quickly. Hopping from cloud to cloud, high in the sky, no eagle will catch me. Do you have any additional photos of her that you can share? I won't post them anywhere yet. I would just love to see them. Feel like so. And I think when I first read it, I went, gosh, she's chatty. Amelia, she has a lot to say. And then I thought, who is she talking to and what? Well, Ichigo Klein, who is a member of our Facebook group, actually cleared that up for us, and it turns out that an email exchange between Groove and her 
got kind of transposed and ended up on the collector's card, which is absolutely delightful. I'm sorry, I think that everybody who heard the story actually loved it because it means that, you know, sometimes things don't happen the way you expect, but it does make it very unique. All right, so let's talk about Amelia herself here. She has this wonderful kind of corn silk uh, blonde wig, but it's got streaks of pink, very light pink on one side, and then on the other side she has streaks of green. It feels like the same green that you'll see in uh, Tokidoki uh, Luna. I love the different colors. I love that she's such a colorful doll. Her face is absolutely adorable. She's got lots of pink tones. Her eyebrows um, are very unique. They're kind of crisscross. And hands down, my favorite thing about Amelia are her eyes. They are this brilliant green glitter color. And on her eyes, if you can see the tiny little um, white rabbit, I can only imagine that is a tribute to Pull Up Styles um, kind of avatar. If you go to their website, uh, the banner has a little white rabbit. So I can only imagine it's kind of a tribute to that. So cute. And then last but not least, of course, she's got these wonderful pink uh, eyelids that match her eye makeup. She is a ton of fun. She is so original that I can see why she's so popular. I know that Pull Up Style had their hands full, um, filling pre-orders. So super happy about this doll, really happy that Pull Up Style wanted to do something like this with a couple of collectors. Um, the last thing I just wanna show you is quickly her box. If you are planning on ordering her, she is going to come in a very unique box. It's actually much easier for storage, but it is a lot different than your typical pull-up box. So if you have any questions about beautiful Miss Amelia here, let me know. Thanks.